Yeah, so talk about tough words from uh, from Jesus. Uh, we're looking at Matthew chapter 5 verses 38 to 42. And verse 38, uh, Jesus was saying to the disciples, those who are listening, you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Exodus 20, chapter 21, verse 24, does speak of times when they had slaves. If your slave got his foot broken, then you were supposed to break the foot of the person that caused that injury. Broken foot for broken foot. Um, yin versus yang, if you want to say it that way, but tooth. So if I knock out your tooth, you knock out mine. But Jesus said, no, that's not the way we're going to do it. That is not the way we want you to live any longer. So instead of doing that, and in doing that, then you're going to learn to forgive. We'll just read it here. I tell you not to resist an evil person, so don't seek revenge, don't seek a retaliation. Whoever slaps you on your right cheek, turn the other to him also. Now, does that mean just sit there and take it like a man? Just take the abuse? No. But does it, this is all about giving, not resisting. It's about giving of yourself um, you know, giving up your, your, uh, your want of control, your want of revenge, retaliation. I'm going to leave that in, in God's hands. Turn the other cheek is, you know, is basically your, you know, it has to be with giving. And, and then, uh, verse 40, someone wants to take your, sue you. Uh, so Jesus, I think, is saying that it's better not to get involved in lawsuits. Better to resolve it before. If it means, um, I don't know if that means literally stripping naked, but I think it means more being transparent, being honest, um, to settle it. I don't know if it would... Um, the tunic was a, a long undergarment next to the skin. Uh, I'm not sure what the equivalent today would be of that. I think basically it's saying, you know, try and avoid lawsuits. I think we read that in other parts of the Bible. Uh, it's better to, to resolve the issues. Uh, verse 41, going the second mile. And some of this you'll, you'll hear in today's society. People don't know where these principles come from. But uh, it's right here. So whoever chose to get a one mile, go with him two. So basically you, uh, you're hired to carry a burden in those days, in the Bible times. Then you would just offer to go the second mile, to go the extra effort. To show your love for your neighbor. Remember whose uh, neighbor is the one that is, is near to you. Um, those who want to beg from you those who ask, um, you know, be willing to be willing to lend, um, not to be crazy, just give away all your money, but be willing to lend, to give to others, and to let others borrow from you with, you know, the principles in the Bible, um, asking God for wisdom, being sensible, uh, not going broke over it. Uh, just a few of my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, very few verses, but very packed full of meaning. Anyway, I will uh, talk to you soon.